In this video, we will continue to talk about rendering in uh, Redshift. We started rendering from the beginning because we know that Redshift is mainly an interactive renderer. And we worked in the previous video with the more complex materials using logos and graphics and uh, using the unwrap map. And the, so we, we can also customize a little bit with the logos and graphics and various effects. And we, we saw how the unwrap mapping works and how we can do specific uh, graphics for object. And also we discover that we can create multi-layered material. So we can create basically different layers that we can um, stack one on top of the other to create many effects and especially defects of the material. So to make it a little bit more realistic. And this is the way also Substance works and uh, basically creating uh, scratches and worn out parts of, of the model. And we use specific nodes for this. And also there are so many nodes here also to, in this case, I've, I've placed this one here, which is called mix, to mix two different texture, whether it's, uh, you can use um, any texture, procedural or also raster or pixels texture and you can mix them together so you can get even more results by mixing and matching and changing things you can also change with the value amount so the the side with the white and the black which one is going to like prevail on the other or you know the side how that mixing will take uh, place so uh, my suggestion is try to experiment a lot because you, you can work with the interactive rendering and everything gets so easy and everything happens real time. So you can test anything you do here directly on the Cinema 4D viewer and test all these nodes because there are really a lot of nodes here. I cannot explain everything to you because there are so many. We, we're going to see car, car paint, but then you're also in the materials, you have some starting uh, packages or you, you can see these as a presets that you can use like subsurface coloring skin we saw skin we then you have other materials and then you have textures we explored more a lot of those but there are more and then you have utilities here we're gonna see some we, we saw some utilities like the bump and then uh, you have tri planner and others and then you have a uh, environment. We, we're gonna see more about the environment, but here you can also like manage physical sky, and then you have the lights, and then um, a lot of color correction nodes and mathematical nodes like mix. Mix is a mathematical node to mix different nodes together, and then you have also others here. So you have so many, so many that it takes a lot of time to understand, explore try and see what they do. So my suggestion again is take your time if you want to know this a little bit more and study them and go and see what, what they do. Some of these are pretty easy to understand, like the color nodes, for example, like, you know, when you want to desaturate or saturate colors, when you want to invert, we already ex explained some of those. Now, if you go in the manual, we select Cinema 4D because we are working with Cinema 4D or you select your software, you'll find all the information right here. And most of the time, you also find some really explanatory um, images that will show you what uh, certain things will do, some specific effect. Or you can see this is the car paint material with all the different settings, all the values and all the examples. So this is going to save you a lot of time. Instead of going there and experimenting with everything, you just come here and see, you know, the different values that you have, like flakes, for example, in in the car paint. And um, also this one here, also it's pretty interesting. It's called round corners. So uh, if you're looking for something specific, you can go there. Now I'm going to use for this lesson this really nice car because I want to do some product visualization and rendering. So you either have something that you created your own or you can just download a model. And I wanted to go for like automotive, I'm gonna use car paint. 
And you, you can do product visualization also with other software like Twinmotion or Blender. So um, a lot of people use rendering for this product visualization. And if you want, you can also create your own models using Rhinoceros 3D, like for cars or pretty complex surfaces. And um, that's another software you can use. Otherwise, just go in Sketchfab, download any car you want here, any vehicle, any model you want to use. I'm going to go for this. And you can see all the model information right here. The author, the original file is in Blender. And then we have the auto converted GLTF. But this time I want to go with Blender. So I, I will make another example of how you can prepare a file from Blender. Or sometimes I use Blender just to convert files. So I bring a, a specific format, I import a specific format in Blender, and then I re export with the format that I need. And we're going we're gonna to see how we can do that. Now, this is Blender. Of course, if you're interested in Blender, go check the Blender course or courses that we have in the channel. And all I'm going to do here, you can see this is a really complex model with a lot of surfaces. So you can even organize here. You can delete parts that you don't need, or you can merge them together for a, a easier uh, management than in, in uh, Cinema 4D. You can, of, of course, you can do this also in Cinema 4D. But this is a Blender file, so we can start with Blender. And if I go in, in the text to preview mode, there are some texts that are missing. So uh, probably they are not in the text folder, but that's fine. We're just going to you know, use whatever we can from this model. We are interested more in the rendering part. So um, this is the export, and we can export FBX. And by the way, again, if you go in import, if you have some strange formats that it's not readable by Cinema 4D or any other software you're using with Redshift. You can always use Blender because it's free and open source. You can import and then export in a format that is readable by Cinema 4D, like, for example, the FBX. We can select specific objects here. We can check the selected objects feature. Otherwise, we can just export everything. Now, be careful on the axis because on, the, on Cinema 4D, the up axis is not the Z, but is the Epsilon. And the Z is like the depth. So we can change this from Z to Epsilon. And we can make sure the forward is uh, on the Z or minus Z or, or positive Z axis. Now we're ready to go. We exported the FBX file. We're ready to go in, in Cinema 4D. So let's now import or merge. In this case, I want to merge in the existing scene. So I'm going to go in the folder where I saved this. You can see this is the extracted folder from Sketchfab, and I have the text folder right here where everything is supposed to be. And then yeah, I have the source file in Blender and then the one that I've just exported in FBX. So I'm going to open up the FBX. Now everything should be fine here, so you don't need to touch anything. But sometimes you may want to have a look at the geometry here and see if nothing, if something doesn't work, you can check here in the panels. But I, I've changed. Nothing here, just uh, import. And let's see if everything goes well. And there you go. So we can see the, the car here. And it's looking good in, in the geometry. So we, we need to make sure that everything is good also in the materials. We already talked about that. How we, we can create our own materials, of course. But we can also get it from the asset browser. Now I'm going to go into Rest Shift and try to do something here. And add, let's first add a dome light. So we can start to see a little bit better in the rendering. Now for this first render example, this first render uh, workshop, I want to use the IBL, so image based lighting. I'm, I'm just going to use the image right now for, to light up the scene. So I want to render here and everything is white so we can not really understand the materials because it, this is a flat environment lining so we can change it right away using the picker and see if something changes here so i can use the picker and discover which is the object right here and let's create a new material and this time well, let me just do something else, actually. Let's try to go in the tools and try to convert and replace all materials first. And let's see if this changes things. If it doesn't, we can all 